Hey everybody, Jamie Lee and Mel here today. We have a really cool special treat for you. Mel has expressed interest in taking our free flight course and the first step in being able to enroll in it is to make sure that your bird medically checks out. Wow. Not a good spot. <laughs> uh, so here we have, um, this is Fit. Fit is macaw. Uh, what we find with uh, macaw, uh, blue gold macaws and, and these larger macaws is um, they tend to develop a fear of uh, being handled in the vet clinic. Um, these are a species which I find when they've had some difficult experiences or bad experiences, um, those experiences build. So they can get quite stressed. Um, so in order to minimise um, Fid's distress, what we've done is we've just given him a little sedative, uh, make him nice and quiet and calm. The particular sedative I've used is called, uh, is, has an anxiolytic in it, uh, which does tend to take away their memory of the event. So it gives them um, uh, more, um, helps them in terms of when they come back again, such they haven't really remembered what happened the last time. Um, so he's just dopey. I've just got him um, sedated enough so that I can handle him without that sort of stress. So what we're looking for, we're looking at sort of feather quality, um, a feeling over his body for body condition, um, having a look sort of, uh, um, we, you saw me had a look in his mouth, we're looking for any abnormalities, any discharge, um, any changes that sort of suggest there's any kind of illness going on. The whole time I'm looking um, for any sort of other symptoms or signs, um, effective, uh, how he moves, all these sort of things uh, I'm looking at. Um, <coughs> even just looking at sort of any ball patches or feather, poor feather quality under his wings, all that kind of thing is uh, significant. Um, Fit is in very good condition. We feel the body condition by the muscle mass, but also by fat around the body because the big chest muscle mass is the big um, muscle that was the first to what we call atrophy, which means that it kind of shrinks um, when they're requiring extra nutrition. So if they're not eating very well and they're sickly, um, they'll get this muscle will start to shrink as a result. They'll take the protein and, and energy and, and stuff out of that muscle uh, first. Um, so you'll see it there first. Um, <coughs> but it's only part of what we use for condition scoring because they store fat around different parts of their body as well. Um, so he's in very good condition, um, his um, feathers are really good, he's had a knock on his head but it doesn't look like it's caused any significant injury, um, it, but it has pulled some of the feathers out. Um, he's uh, certainly uh, bright and alert um, and will, even considering we've got the sedation on board. Um, he's got no discharge, he is a bird that does get allergies, um, it's commonly seen in macaws especially. <laughs> bit of regurg. Especially here in Australia we find that uh, um, and especially when you have macaws with f uh, feathered down birds you've got to be very very careful with them. Um, <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> that, so should be, that should be a blooper I'm so sorry I can't keep going it's just disgusting. I'm just a blooper. walking blooper reel to you aren't I? <laughs> It's all over your shirt and you, yeah, you could tell you were like it's going into my hair and, and he's being so serious and I'm like literally gagging over here from the vomit all over you. Um, so uh, macaw are actually a, a tropical species. It's really important to know when you've got a bird um, something about where they're from, uh, how they interact in the wild and what's natural for them. Um, in Australia we do find uh, that some of our macaws do suffer from asthma and uh, from various sort of allergies and I think it has got a little bit to do with the amount of moisture in the air that we have here um, and the difference in air quality that we have here to uh, what they have in sort of well, where they're from in the Amazon forest. Um, so what we find um, with Fid is sometimes, particularly because he also lives with powdered birds, um, he has some allergy reactions if there's a lot of powder in the air from those birds um, or on really sort of hot dry days uh, which um, we actually have here as, as high risk asthma days for people we also have to be careful with uh, with Fiddy and he develops uh, some discharges and other things around his nose uh, and sinuses 
as a result of uh, that irritation that occurs uh, from those days. Um, so it's really important to try and minimise that because it has been shown that uh, when we cause that are constantly stimulated with this can actually get changes in their sinuses and things uh, that can be sort of permanent. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem for his flight um, uh, at all. Uh, my concern only with Fiddy's uh, flight is um, he tends to be a fairly anxious kind of bird um, and he's easily sort of spooked. Uh, so that's really my biggest concern about um, free flying Fiddy. So he's just going to need some uh, a lot of care and attention um, and it's going to be a slow process uh, but I'm sure he'll enjoy being out in the environment and flying. One thing I've noticed with Fid is that he will tend to have an asthma episode if we have a really bad storm. So those massive storms that we get, like thunderstorms, they're the days where he's going to have an issue. So I noticed seal up the bird room and pump up the air filters and we're good. Yeah, 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 people, it's actually known as storm asthma. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. I've never heard of storm asthma. Yeah, thunderstorm asthma is a thing and you can actually get from the emergency services an app that will let you know when you're a high risk day so you get warnings. So. But um, initially, like the worst case we had, we actually had him on the um, nebulizer. So oh wow! Him. So you had to give him oxygen? No, um, it's F10 in there. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. So it's using this travel cage. You cover it over so with a towel to so keep the steam in, and it pumps the steam through. And it just helps loosen and really dilute the smolt, so he can breathe again. Same as like with a human, you'd use Ventolin. A break. Yeah. <coughs> so, I mean, he's on medication mm -hmm. when he has sort of an asthma attack. So, I mean, you wouldn't fly him in conditions which would be prone to him getting a bit of an asthma is issue. So, we wouldn't fly him in sort of really dry conditions, um, conditions where there might be a lot of pollens in the air. Um, so um, we just follow the same sort of process that people who have asthma would follow. So there are in Australia uh, apps that tell people uh, what the risk is for that day um, and high risk days uh, um, they would avoid extra exercise. So we could do exactly the same sort of concept with with FID because uh, we know that he follows that same kind of scenario. So. On high risk days for people, um, it tends to be a high risk day for him in terms of developing symptoms of um, sinus irritation and discharge. Um, so I don't see there's any problem in flying fit, um, and I don't see any problem that his asthma would cause. It's just being a bit cautious on um, flying on higher asthma days, um, so just not flying in those days. Well, look, I'm quite excited by it because. Fid's fitness is one of the things I've struggled with. There's a reason he says run fatty run. I really shouldn't mm. <laughs> say that, but it's true. So his exercise has been pretty limited to indoors and some of the space restrictions with that, so he can get puffed very easily. Yep. Weight control has been a little bit of an issue if he's had yep. less exercise in the period. And I'm really looking forward to the chance to improve his fitness and give him that yep. quality of life. Fitness may even help his asthma. Mm, Certainly exactly. help his man boobs. <laughs> 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 Least his hair not on it. <laughs> well said. All right. Hey guys, so as you saw, we just had Fid's checkup over at the veterinary clinic and he vomited checked out. Me. <laughs> he vomited all over Mel. But he also checked out and got a clear bill of health to be able to do this flight training, which is really exciting. I think my Uber Eats is already here. All right guys, so as you saw, we just finished up with Fid's veterinary appointment to make sure that he medically checked out in order to go and enroll into our free flight course, in which he did, which is very exciting. Yeah. Um, one of the things that was new for me is that he actually has asthma, so we haven't had a free flight student who has asthma, and I wasn't really sure how to interpret it and what that meant for his flight training, but lo and behold, we still get to do it. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Did you expect him to check out okay? Yeah, I did, and yeah. I, I thought, yeah, I expected the vet to be happy about it because it will improve his fitness, it will improve his overall health and maybe even his asthma, so it could be quite good. Yeah, that was news to me. I absolutely love that idea that it would improve his asthma. So I'm very excited to give you guys an update later in time when Fit has gone through some of the training and we can do kind of a before and after and see how it changed his health. Man boobs, no man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It is. <laughs> God, what is it without some bloopers? I don't know. <laughs>